106 kilowatts is pretty good. Ensure these modern four-wheel drives have got loads of power with turbochargers and V8s. But when you load them up with all the camping gear in the family, maybe throw a boat or a caravan on the back, your 106 kilowatts is going to feel like 60. So what do you do about it? You bring it to this bloke here. Daniel McIntyre is one of the engine tuning experts at Diesel Care Toowoomba. This big thing here, mate, what's that? Well, that's basically where your power's starting to rise up there. Um, it obviously starts out quite low, and then climbs up um, to maximum 106 kilowatts. To work out how much the Ranger's output can be improved by, Dan's created a baseline reading on the dynamometer. So, Daniel, what's more important, horsepower or torque? Well, obviously, Roger, the, um, the horsepower is going to give you the bragging rights at the pub, but basically what we want is the extra torque, and that's what's going to get the vehicle moving. Um, it's going to pull a lot harder when you're overtaking, um, th those sorts of things. Once you've finished with it, will it be like driving an empty car when I'm loaded? It will, Roger, yes. You're just going to get moving so much easier, pulling so much harder. Because of that torque? Because of that torque, exactly. For 17 years, Steinbauer power modules have been fitted to Forbes and farming equipment to increase torque and power by about 20%. And Daniel, what is Steinbauer? Is that like a Stein of power, mate? No, not exactly, Roger, no. No, um, Steinbauer is actually named after the man who came up with it, Herbert Steinbauer. So he's German or Austrian? Or? He's Austrian, yeah. Oh, be good then. That's right, always good quality from Austria. According to Dan, this clever black box alters the signal to the injectors to optimise fuel injection quantities at certain points, which ultimately improves efficiency and performance. It's pretty straightforward, Daniel, the way everything just plugs together. It is, Roger, that's right. We just use the factory connectors, so everything goes together really nicely. Back on the dyno, it's fairly clear this clever chip has made some big changes. Well, Daniel, that's fantastic. Yeah, look at that, Roger. We've got the tool coming in at such a low RPM now. It's 1,570 RPM. We've gone from about 436 newton metres of torque now up to 558. That's so huge. That's, that's, yeah, around that's, 28%. Mm, that's so. near 30%. Exactly. Unbelievable. That's fantastic. While the power curve starts low and climbs as our revs climb, torque typically comes in straight away. And because it peaks at low revs, this tells us it's designed to work well down low, unlike performance cars that need higher revs to perform at their best. How's the fuel efficiency going to be now? Well, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to be doing that job so much easier. We're going to be using a lot less throttle input. Um, you're going to be maintaining higher gears, um, lower RPM, so that's going to equal fuel savings. So the car will idle and it'll have more power than it ever did. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you can see the results there for yourself, Roger. That's yeah, exactly what we were wanting. Excellent, mate. Well, I brought the van. I've got to go and try it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's Great. get out there. OK. If it's more power and torque you want out of your family four-wheel drive, then it's the gang from Diesel Care that you want to talk to about their Steinbauer products. Well, the really great thing now is I don't have to actually flatten the accelerator to get the job done. We've got about two and a half thousand revs and it's just going beautifully up the hill. Matter of fact, if I didn't look in the mirror and see the van behind me, you'd be tempted to think there wasn't one there. <laughs>